What are you doing on my island? I thought we already did the interview, like, a few weeks ago. You, I didn't say you guys could stick around. Hang on. I have to leave. I'm not talking about you two, I'm talking about her. What are you doing on my island? Wait, me? Yes, you. Well, why me? Why me? You're the newbie. Well, not <laughs> newbie, newbie, but you're you're but you're you're joining us once again to to see us to see this Sonic birthday bonanza through. I mean, I, I'm watching you, Ben. I I was just minding my <laughs> own business, walking around, perusing, enjoying the view. I, I don't understand. Why am I in trouble for? I'm sorry. Uh, well, for for first, let's get on. I'll, I'll explain my joke in a second. James, what are we doing today? All right, so starting off the bat, you may have noticed this crafty little mod section of the main menu. Well, this is pretty much where you can go if you want to activate said mods that you've in that you've applied onto the main folder. And uh, just to make things a little more interesting for the sake of this here uh, playthrough, I'm going to activate Woofle Sonic 3 OST, which is called S3 Alternate by uh, according to her um, according to her Bandcamp page. Okay. Uh, ah. For now, for those wondering, Woofle is the name of the composer for the Freedom Planning soundtrack. And oh. let me just say, go check out her go check out her SoundCloud if you haven't already, because she is a master at her craft. Well, I'm, I'm really looking forward to hearing what this is all like. Uh, do we have to do anything else from options, or will it just apply automatically to all stages? Oh, it applies it applies automatically. Okay. Now uh, that being said, though, unfortunately, she only did her own alternate com uh, compositions for the Sonic 3 portion, so that's all we're going to be hearing them from. Speaking of which. So, last time we pretty much went through the entirety of Sonic 3 and Knuckles with Sonic and Tails, even went out of our way to get all seven of the Super Emeralds. Which, yes, you may have noticed that, you know, the file that I did use isn't here. Well, I'm recording this from my desktop as opposed to my laptop, so uh, the save file for last time isn't here. But, right. what I do have on hand will make up for Knuckles' run. Okay. Gonna... So for those, so for those that need the context, Knuckles' campaign, whether it be through Sonic Tales and Knuckles or just Sonic and Knuckles standalone, takes place after the events of Sonic the Hedgehog three and Knuckles. Oh, he's okay. just chilling Peaceful. about. Our master emerald is safe, and oh no, that's not a critter. Uh, ouch. Oh gosh. I oh. Hope you enjoyed your delivery, sir. Mm. Have a nice day. It's a hard bold heavy. No, it's not. Oh, but it's the things that turn into him. Oh, oh hey, Tails. Hey, Tails. <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? I watched. I was, I was actually going to say, Knuckles, watch out for that bomb! Oh, it already went off. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, I just imagine, like, Tails and Sonic come in, warm about the bomb. It's like, I think we're too late. <laughs> so, so uh, um, one yeah. thing I will say right off the bat is that with Tails, Tails being on hand for Knuckles is actually an unlockable you can get for getting a certain amount of achievements. And oh. much like before... You can use Tails as a means to activate um, certain areas that Knuckles himself might not be able to reach. Not that that matters much, considering Knuckles has his own abilities to worry about. Like the gliding. Slow gliding. <laughs> Slow glide. Take it easy. Ouch. Uh, well, there's but, uh, a bunch of little fire things back there. Yeah. But yeah. Um, oh, and by the way, you may have noticed earlier that, like, if you notice, like, very deep into the background, like, there's no ocean, like, no... Like waterbed to be found. Perceptically, right. you know, after the events of Sonic and Knuck Sonic Three and Knuckles, Angel Island is back up in the sky where it belongs. Yep. Oh, uh, and as you oh. can see, we already now have all of the uh, super emeralds. So now Unleash we can unlimited so we can go super? power. Nice. Hyper Knuckles, which is more or less the same thing as Super Knuckles, except I do believe if you land, if you latch onto a wall from a certain altitude. Oh, that's another thing. Whoa. Uh, Knuckles' bare, you know, rock-hard fist knuckles are, on, well, he, they're used to break through certain wo floor, uh, walls, Pla because, wall, you know, yeah. there's certain... Knuckles, well, he can't jump quite as high as Sonic can, but that's okay, because, you know, he can glide, he can climb, he can... He, he's rougher than the rest of them. Yeah. yeah. No, no, he, he's, he's our brawl. And basically, that whole, th that thing that James showed off with him knocking down the path, that is one of the interesting things about Knuckles' campaign. Um, he still goes through the same set of levels as Sonic does. However, he actually has his own alternate paths that he can take if you choose to. Such as, like, right, right up ahead here. Uh, I'm this is all brand new to Knuckles. Yep, because normally, as you recall, we would always have to, like, go up high with Sonic. And I believe, uh, if I remember the sprite map back when I was having to look for all the... Uh, look for all of the uh, the Chaos Emeralds or whatever. I think we're coming up to another one of these Knuckles exclusive walls, or I may be thinking of the third stage. So, yeah, never mind. So, yeah, that's hence why we did want to at least show off Knuckles' portion to some extent because of a this new story and from the new story 
uh, implications as well as, you know, the new alternate path to levels. But we want to, we, but as also as James mentioned, we also want to go in without all the stress of having to have me freaking researching where all the yeah. emeralds Whoa. are and go through those dang crazy mazes. Yeah, ah. once, 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 uh -oh. once is enough. Technically twice if you want to go for the super emeralds as well. That is also true. So, uh, on to the, so back onto the things with how we were introducing Jordy. I'm sorry, I was laughing earlier because with the way she was sounding and the implications that Hype was making it seem like she was actually Rouge all along, I just, I'm sorry, Jordy. Your voice paired with, the way, at least the way you're talking, the way that you, were, yes. the, way, the way your voice was sounding at the time, it just made, gave me the implication of, well, I don't think Rouge the Bat would have had quite the same, like, impact on the gaming community if she sounded like Lois Griffin. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, just, that's just no, what it's No, that's to... funny! It's, I take no offense to that, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, I, I, so, sometimes my voice tends to sound a little nasally when I'm not thinking about it. It's, it's my accent. Fan, you're fine. I tried to get Knuckles away from that Master Emerald because I keep telling him it's a disease he has to fight, but he's just so stubborn. <laughs> Uh, so... I may as well go find that Master Emerald since that irritating echidna is here. How pita. Lay off it, Grandma! <laughs> Grandma! So, uh, so it begins. Uh, but yeah, no, we are doing this now uh, as we move forward into our, I guess, uh, is this going to be the last time we celebrate the Blue Blur's bir birthday bonanza bash? Well, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, I was about to say, we still technically have two more games on the Genesis we could do. Let's or three, three if you want to also count the, th the 32X. That's fair. That oh, yeah. Well, oh, hey. Oh, wow. Well, I think this is the first time I ever saw you go all the way to the top. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, um, just as a heads up, because I don't know if people pay attention, uh, even though Knuckles has the elemental shield, he oh. doesn't have the special jumps like uh, Sonic does when he uses it. They're just barriers. Wow. Uh, except for the um, electric ring. It can still attract rings, but that's about it. And so, uh, oh, go ahead. Oh, well, go ahead. All right, so uh, since Eggman is technically out of the picture now, we have to deal with one of the surviving egg robos that apparently, you know, takes a lot from Eggman. So much so he he's like, to put it simply, this egg robo's like, what if I was Doc Dr. Eggman, but more evil? Oh he's, crap! He's so... basically he's Eggman's Commander Peepers. So at, so I guess mm. what's going on here? So is his plan to not? Does he want to just destroy the island then? Uh, he just wants to carry over his, carry over his master's work. All right, so Rich, so steal the master emerald again, use it to pilot a death egg robot, and want or just or you know just take just take the master emerald and uh, you know use it oh. for any potential resources. And Knuckles is like, no, I don't get trapped. I, I chose to go down here. <laughs> it was totally it was totally on purpose. Which again, we we've, we've said it time and again, like whether. If it was anywhere other than Angel Island, like, Knuckles knows this place like the back of his own two knuckles, so I think he, it's safe to say he knows what he's doing. But now, whether, he... now, say if it was anywhere else, people would consider him to be a gullible idiot. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't help that after, you know, his first little mistake with Eggman, he, he starts to continue to fall for it in later yeah. installments. Yeah, a yeah. lot of it really, like, a lot of it has to do with the fact that, like, it really depends, because sometimes it's just straight-up gullibility or naivete, and other times it's him, like, genuinely thinking that Eggman can reform, even though, no. Which, but, but, <laughs> but and I guess when you put it like that, and it reminds me of other people, it's like, I, they're not... People like that, I guess, aren't dumb. They just, they have high, they have such high hopes, and they want to see the best in people. It's just, unfortunately, yeah. people around them continue to be dicks. Yeah. yeah. Right down to Eggman. <laughs> Like uh, we oh. all remember what it, like we all remember what happened when uh, the two met up met up in that one hotel room in oh, uh, Station Square. Yeah. And Eggman, uh, from the goodness of his heart, sicked chaos in him, and then <laughs> went out of his way to tell make Knuckles believe that maybe Sonic was the evil guy all along. I mean, I, I, and I guess at that and at that time, for some reason, ah, at that time, yeah. Knuckles didn't even care about the chaos emeralds. He just wanted the master to roll back. Yeah, because it, it's yeah. it's like a broke. Like, right. did Knuckles already forget, like, a, a very pivotal part of his in, in, in the heritage? It was like, never, like, the, the chaos emeralds would be, anyway. Yeah, that was bad, that was just as important, but, uh, what was it? Oh, boy, here we go. Uh, oh, uh, actually, yeah, that, you doing that just did also reminded me. So, um, are there, apart from the high jumping and we know that uh, he doesn't have this, the same elemental shoot powers, when he's in super and or hyper Knuckles, does he have the same properties as super and hyper 
for the most part. Not quite. He do he can run faster for sure, but other than that, he doesn't gain a double jump. But what he does do is, I think I've already brought this up earlier, but when he when he latches onto a wall at supersonic speeds, he creates a tremor so powerful that it'll destroy any bad Nick within sight. Whoa. So mm. it's like, okay, so you do like a wall slam. Okay. It's honestly not too dissimilar like how the double jump Sonic has is a glorified screen nuke. And I understand that right there he's supposed to be punching the blocks, but sometimes the sprite work works in such a way that it looks more like he's just headbanging him with his with his powerful snoot. <laughs> snoot. I mean that is a very pointy snoot if you look at it from a certain yeah. angle. He's Woody the Woodpecker. Uh -huh. Well, no, 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 no. He's 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 Andy the Aardvark. Oh god, that too. <laughs> Andy the Aardvark? What's yeah. that? Well, I feel like there's a character out there named Andy Aardvark. I just don't remember where it's The called. Adventures of Andy the Aardvark. But that was, it was, a, it was a 17 theatrical short cartoons. Oh, yeah, that was oh, it was the Blue Aardvark with the ant. I remember that now. Oh, Blue Aardvark, okay. voiced by John Byner. Oh, okay. Oh. You know what I... Oh, I'm sorry, you first. I was gonna say, truth be told, I kind of pulled that one out of my ass. I forgot he was actually a thing. Apparently, he was, he, he was one of the he was one of the supporting cast members of the Pink Panther. Uh -oh. oh, that that Ardvark, I remember him now. Uh, what yeah, were you I about was to like, say, wow. Jordan? Thank you when I just hear the word Ardvark, I just think of the song "I'm an Ardvark." I was and thinking I'm of that. <laughs> I was. I'm an Ardvark and I'm happy. Okay, what was that, Chase? <laughs> Yeah, the one from Sesame Street, I remember. Yeah, I was thinking of that too. <laughs> you know what? I'm just I was about to I was about to chime in, but I got two different animals confused because for a second I was thinking armadillo and I was just thinking, your mom's an armadillo. <laughs> well, I mean that's also tr alliteration is fun like that. I, 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 we almost could have had Sonic the Sparrow. I'll see myself out now. Now, uh, as we're continuing forward with this whole bit. Oh, we still have we still have not yet uh, tried out the big Sonic Classic thing, but I guess we were talking about that uh, earlier since I don't think you were here when we were having some of these conversations. Jordy, uh, with all the new so with all the Sonic hub up and stuff going on about, are you at all interested in that? Uh, you or your brother interested in that uh, classic uh, the Sonic Origins? collection that Sega's working on? Um, I have a little bit of interest in it, like. Uh... What what's this about the Origins collections again? Well, that, that, okay, so lo so the long of the long of the short of it is that sometime in 2022, they're gonna release a collection of all of Sonic's <laughs> game, most if not all of Sonic's games from the Genesis era, namely one, two, three, and Knuckles, and Sonic CD. So that's uh, that's all we know about it so far. But for all we know, they might even reveal more before you know the year's over. Yep. Uh, um, I'm not sure at the moment. I'd have to see, like. Uh, you know, I'm still a little bit on the fence about Sonic stuff lately, but I did see some pretty interesting stuff. I might dive into it if I'm feeling brave enough. Okay. That's fair. And, as, oh, and as James showed off there, be careful that although you can... Oh, oh boy. Although, although you, you can stand still, you still get hit by enemies. Right, I was say, although you can climb up walls, you can still be crushed. Um, I did yep. want to ask, like, since we were just talking about, like, stuff that they showed off there, like, I, not even just related to Origins, I'm kind of curious about if Jordan wants to talk about her thoughts on the other stuff they showed off, like, uh, say, Rise of the Wisps. Oh, I'm definitely interested in Rise of the Wisps. It's gonna be so cute. And I love the animation style, too. It feels so weird to see a Sonic animation project for a game that's already, like, ten years old now. Yeah, a little bit. I mean... Uh, and, and it kind of, and I guess the art style almost feels like a blend of the uh, Mania shorts with the Team Racing shorts. I'm curious a if it's bit. the same team animating it. In my, I think it is. I look, Could it, be. It looked like it. Um, what else can we do? Oh yeah, I noticed you can also climb faster while in a nope. super mode. Yep, you can climb cool. faster. You can glide a little faster. It's honestly, it's honestly an all-around great package, assuming you have the rings to spare. Right. And mm -hmm. don't get crushed. <laughs> oh. Crush, kill, destroy. Swag. Uh, you remind me of that animation now. What animation? <laughs> uh, no, no, old, uh... I'm, I, I, I'm kind of like mimicking my dad when he's trying to play with Audrey. Like he's like, ah, you know oh. what I mean? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so when he plays with Audrey, he turns into Omega. 
Yes. He turns into he turns into like a like a funny monster. Throwing but I was just out. saying Omega just cause it came into my head. Throwing this out there, I would buy, and I think it may have already been a thing, and I just may not be remembering uh -huh. correctly. Uh, I would I would read a IDW silly little arc about Omega having to be Cream's babysitter. Just throwing this out there. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. That does remind me of something that they sort of tried to do in the Archie comics, like during like the Treasure Tango story arc, where like Cream like befriends Omega, and like at first he just wants nothing to do with it, but then by the end of it, like he's just Shadow and him were standing off against Scrooge, and it's like. You are making the tiny bunny cry. I will not allow it. <laughs> yes, I remember that. Oh my god. I remember uh, my friend Brandon, he had me voice uh, he had me voice Blaze for that arc for a dub of his arc and it was interesting. I think that was one I think that might have been the first time I've heard you as Blaze. Probably. Oh my god, I gotta get back to editing the panels for the for the for the girl power arc. Oh that's fine. Like honestly, like I'm already Whoa. swamped with a bunch of other things, like working on Smash Cast Episode 5 and whatnot. Oh, you yeah. actually have just enough rings that you could use to uh, blast him, but I don't know if you could reach it. Maybe use Tails? It'll definitely grant me some invincibility frames, if nothing else. Whoa, Tails! Actually, there you go. actually I was Whoa. about to say, what am, I, what, am I what am I thinking? I, I still have Tails! Yeah, Dude. man! I was, gonna say, like, I, was, I was getting worried, because I just noticed Tails just went to the moon for a bit there. Oh, nice! There you Probably go. Right but yeah, no, that's that's pretty much the big thing regarding Egg Robo is that he, he basically it's the same boss fights as before, but he does add in a few extra strategies to make getting getting them a little harder. Okay. Uh, also, I guess while I've been listening to it, I haven't. I'll be honest, I haven't noticed anything too distinct with Sufol's version just yet. But oh, uh, actually, speaking of which, one thing I will definitely say regarding um, the mod here. It does cover the vast majority of what she and her and she and some of her friends were able to compose, mm -hmm. with the exception of well, obviously they didn't do anything for um, the the and knuckles portions, right? And there was a, there were two they did do stuff for Marble Garden Zone, but it was not on the official soundtrack. Not she, it was huh. not on the soundtrack that she released for the mods, but it, but it's but it's still available from her SoundCloud. Uh, yes, it is available on the SoundCloud representing all these oh. uh, remixes. Unfortunately, the person that was modding this didn't have them on hand, so uh, Marble Garden is more or less untouched. Oh, well, uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. Aha! Trickery Go. at its finest. Yeah. Yep. That is a case where I could have used Tails, but let's pretend that technically Tails isn't supposed to be with Knuckles right now. This is a, this is a Sonic 3 Air exclusive. The fact yeah. that the fact that Mania understood the and Knuckles meme to the point of giving you a Knuckles and Knuckles playthrough. With its own <laughs> it's handy. beautiful. It is absolutely <laughs> freaking beautiful. And like Knuckles and it, and it's like Knuck it, it's the one bit of meme. It's like the one bit of Sonic meme culture I'm totally okay with being part of the game canon. Oh. Uh -oh. Right, well, and, and then, and then, yeah. Were you gonna bring up the the cut, the cinematic at the end hype? Yeah, it's like where Knuckles and Knuckles were rescued by Knuckles as they head off on their Knuckles mobile. <laughs> and Knuckles <laughs> like, and that ends the story about me. And Sonic is like, yeah, uh, right. All these poor little flickies and oh, jeez, this is new. <laughs> they're being they're being wrong they're being wrongfully led on on the events that never really happened. Right. Yeah. So. My, I guess it's. I'm trying to think of any other experiences I had with this game. Uh, my first time I ever played Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Actually, um, it may have just been Sonic and Knuckles. My first time ever playing it was. I don't know if it's a chain that is still currently around right now. If so, I apologize. This is. I promise this is not a sponsorship. This is just me bringing it up. Is. Uh, it's called Cool Cuts. It was a hair salon and. You, usually, my family and I have like a trusted barber that we go to, or like you know, like you know. Oh, it's like, cool cuts! I think I, I think I may have, I think I may have passed by one every once in a while. Right, but yeah. So, so normally, normally, my my family and I would go to an actual like you know a barber shop. We have like a you know a a, a, par, a barber that you should try to develop some sort of personal like you know relationship with, so that you understand that they trust what you want and whatnot. But one mm -hmm. day, it was an emergency and. He wasn't available, so we needed a haircut now. So we thought, okay, we thought, okay, we'll just go for a salon cut. So all right. So we went to Cool Kit, Cool Cuts, and Cool Cuts advertised itself as a hair salon for young chill, for young, young to you know preteen children. And mm -hmm. one of the one of the gimmicks, I guess, of their whole uh, one of the gimmicks of their whole um, like salon of their whole business. Oh boy. 
is um Ooh. nice Ooh. is um the fact that they let you play video games while you get your hair cut. <laughs> so cool. you'll be so you'll be in the barber chair while they give while you while you're playing a game, which in hindsight, good 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 save. In hindsight, uh, may not have been the best cha may not have been the best idea because imagine if you get very emotional again uh, in some games. You're like, dang it, and it's like, oh, well, now now like you know half of your hair is shaved off. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so and I remember the games I played there were uh, they had a GameCube set up and I played Sonic and Knuckles do the anniversary collection I believe, and I also played Monkey Ball two I believe. That sounds and, right. Uh, it came out roughly around the same time. And uh, yeah, first this guy. And this guy does not have like some sort of name or anything, does he? Oh, they they just call him Egg Robo. Egg Robo. Okay. Oh, yeah. and that and this is why there's always like one Egg Robo character in the multiplayer stuff. Yep, because uh, Sonic Three, Sonic Three Knuckles was pretty much where they made their debut, and one in particular decides to be that nasty bastard that's going after Knuckles each and every time he can. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna have my headcan that he's the guy who became the hard-boiled royal or the hard-boiled uh, hard-boiled heavy, anyway. the, the leader um, of the heavies anyway. I would be, I wouldn't be against that theory, but or not for the fact he literally gets totaled at the end of the okay, game. Okay, we blow him. Okay, fair enough. Well, his children. And even then, we're not, we're, we're actually, we're not even the ones that, blow, we're not even the ones that blow him up. Well, I'm looking forward to whatever plot twist happens. I'll admit this is my first time seeing the uh, Knuckles campaign done, but um, huh. well, but yeah, I... uh, watch and be amazed at some of the stuff you never find normally with Sonic and Tails without a debug code. <laughs> Fair. Was this the game that had the crazy, weird blue demon debug code, or was that two? Was that one? Uh, with, you with have the, to line me up with the real with the realistic looking like man face on on. Oh, Sonic that no, no, that's that's the Sonic CD thing. Oh. Okay. Uh, as part of the game, as part of the game's uh, secrets, you can uncover via the DA, what was they called the DA Garden. Uh -huh. uh, you can you can actually uncover a few bits of promotional material, whether it be like an image of Tails next to uh, that green ve that green Jeep like vehicle that apparently is canonically like his favorite uh, vehicle. <laughs> okay, fair. Okay. On re on road vehicle, on road vehicle. Yeah, I know. Let's not I forget I that he also has the tornado. Right. I mean, every everyone needs a hobby. He collects you know model cars or something. I, I, I got you. There's that. Th there's that, and then there's also an image of a manly looking Sonic. Not yes. even the one. Not even the one with the with the weird looking face. But oh. the one. It, it was very much Batman the Animated Series inspired. Huh. The beginning of Sonic Man. I think they even use the exact same font, which is actually funny because Sonic 3, like the original Sonic Hedgehog 3, the credits, like the credits was all done via the same font style that used right, that the Batman the Animated Series used. Right, the yellow and or white pixel. Okay. Huh. Like the, the very, yeah, the very thin, the very thin font. Right. Whoa. And, uh, okay, we're almost out of this, I hope. We you got this. Almost. Obviously, it shouldn't be too much longer. Also, by the way, something we forgot to bring up earlier: those, those weird blue bubble thingies. Oh, that's right. Um, this is another thing that. Um, this is unfortunately a case where Knuckles is gonna have to take another pathway, assuming you don't have Tails by your side. Right. Yeah. Which will. Which oh, I see. Follow the arrows. Aha. Okay, the other side. The other side. Up we go. And I. Come on. There you are. I mean, oh, and I ah. saw there, I saw the, the, the little screen new thing you're talking about there. Yep, the screen shakes and bad necks are literally, can't, they can't handle that kind of pressure. There he is! Ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, well, okay, I guess we have to wait then, fine. The, uh, can Knuckles do, perform the drop dash as well? No, he can't. Oh. Only Sonic. Okay, uh, so, okay, how about this? Okay, uh, I guess another way to bring up conversation is, um... Not that we're having trouble, but sorry. Is that, uh, are there any new additions to Knuckles' rep- Similar to Sonic, are there any new additions to Knuckles' repertoire that this Angel Island Revisited thing gave him? Uh, none that I can immediately think of, no. All the all there really is is that you can unlock the ability to play a scenario with both him and Tails. And that's literally it. Okay. Well, well. I guess in retrospect, that is something they could have added on, like, oh. as well. Like, maybe have a- something where both Sonic and Tails could literally play with Knuckles as their partner. Oh, like have a three, but that would have a have a trip. That, get the old trio. Pretty, that much, the game, pretty much that let the game have its own and Knuckles moment. That would have been, been neat. Yeah. Like a little precursor to Heroes and oh gosh, run! Uh oh. Uh, how do we? Come oh, okay, here we go. 
Yeah, we gotta let the... Okay, that's all there was to it. No big deal. No pressure. Oh, but uh, that being said, Knuckles has a, 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 a boss exclusive to him. The Drillmobile. Whoa! The Drillmo... Jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, and then he falls... Interesting. Actually, now that I think about it, wasn't this a thing in Sonic 2 in the Mystic Cave Zone? No, I don't it, think so. Well, the, the path... It has of... elements. It has elements of it, but it's not the same thing. Well, I mean, All right, so they, either way, Sonic doesn't fight this thing, so... Right, no, 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 yeah, no, but, but, but you, I, I forgot the name of the boss you're thinking of, but yeah, the, the idea of, like, it telegraphing the path it takes and following it, that does remind me of the Sonic <laughs> 2 uh, boss, but I think this, yeah, as, the, as you're seeing here, this one definitely has the additional uh, gimmick of its trail that it leaves also can hurt you if you're not careful. Good one, Tails. Right. They had to, they had to keep, make this in mind because, I mean, again, officially... Tails wouldn't be with us, so Knuckles wouldn't be able to fly up into the sky no. to take out a flying egg robot. Nah. Oh, no. Bye, right, see Tails. Bye, Tails. <laughs> well, cool. Oh, well, here we go. Now then, before we go, before we have our tip, top, tipsy, topsy, tur turny sort of fun time shenanigans, we'll be right back. Okay. See ya. Stay tuned. I'll get it. <laughs> 